Hi, back in Austin at the fort, my studio. While I was at the Butler Chainsaw Carving Invitational in Butler, Pennsylvania, I bought my friend Scott Dow's Giant Cobra. It's made out of white pine. It's about six and a half feet tall. I bought it unfinished, so I get to varnish it, which I'm kind of excited about because it's probably going to go in my yard and I'd have to go with my existing color scheme because I'm very picky about those things and everything is dark. I'm doing multiple layers of stain. The one I started with is the darkest. It's called Slate and it's a semi-transparent exterior deck stain. After it dried, I sanded all of the ridges and higher parts and it kind of created this acid wash look, which is sort of tempting to leave it like that, but the white isn't gonna stay white, it's gonna go yellow. I'd rather make it the color it's going to end up later. I have a semi-transparent stain, which is supposed to make the wood look weathered. So I'm going to put that over the top ridges. I think I'm gonna to have to cut this weather wood stain with a little bit of clear. It's going on too thick and it's covering up my shadows. I might use some brown spray paint very, very, very lightly. Splatter paint it, uh, it's a theater trick. Kind of brings it down, makes it less bright, less cartoony. I come from a theater background, so I believe that everything should be splatter painted. It makes it look so much better. And everyone should wear mascara, men, women, and children. Scott Dow is one of my favorite wood sculptors. You've probably seen his work if you frequent Reddit. He did a giant T-Rex, which was making the rounds recently, and um, some of his hollow skull work I've seen floating around the internet. If you're paying attention to the carving world, you've probably seen some of his stuff. And if you're not paying attention to the carving world, you probably should be because it's a growing art form. I think snakes are beautiful and I'm really excited to have one around. But more than that, I think it'll be a good source of inspiration. As much as I like to make my own art, I really enjoy buying the work of others and I like to surround myself with it. Our surroundings have a huge impact on us and the things we do in them and how we feel while we're there and the interactions we have with others. So I think that they're worth investing in and I think that our inspiration and our creative energy is worth investing in.